Hi, everybody. Somebody is so sick of seeing my black ass. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? I don't give a fuck if you're tired of seeing me. Stop watching. Okay? I mean, it's... Can we just say that collective? I mean, that is the... The overall consensus is that if you're tired of seeing somebody, don't watch. If you're tired of hearing somebody, stop listening. Or put some earplugs in. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all you got to do. What's up with all the drama behind not wanting to hear somebody that you keep watching or listening to? Okay. But let's give some thanks to the Most High God for bringing us here for these uh, weekend messages. This is we got. I got now. I got some things coming. I, gonna, I ain't not gonna bombard everybody with messages upon messages because you know I would do that shit too. Okay. I'm like um. I'm like like uh. Chris Brown or like Mary J. Blige. <laughs> You know, come out with albums back to back to back and don't give a fuck. And they all be good, too, though. Kind of like these messages. Pat myself on the back. Savage. Now, I do want to say that uh, 111 in the clock, by the way, is that when I first started doing this, I mean, if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, I was trying to find which way I wanted to do it. My, my dream was to always, like, if I had a podcast, to, like, want to do, like, a conversation. You know, not I, don't, I, I never want to come off kind of like... I know everything or like something like that. I just always just wanted to, you know, um, just kind of have conversations considering the fact that I don't talk to no fucking body, but y'all every damn day. Okay. Uh, but I'm just writing something down here. Hold on y'all. Okay. So, cause I'm about to put, I, I heard something when I, confirmation see i heard something when i came in the house um and i want to pull some energy on it uh but yeah so like these are just conversations you know what i'm saying because i really kind of you know we you know you start off like with anything i would just assume anything that you want to maybe kind of making it and like i said when i first did well it was kind of twofold you know i was kind of the Most High God will remove, like, I don't really feel, I feel like, you know, there are certain, a lot of chosen ones, a lot of people are chosen for different, you know, because I, I try to, I try to tread lightly on saying chosen ones because, you know, I kind of feel like it's an overused kind of label that people give themselves. I know what the Most High God told me, but I ain't got to walk around saying it all the fucking time. But I'll say, that's why I like to say I've chosen for a particular job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you could work a nine to five. Like I've, I, like I said, I've, I've, I've always maintained a job since I was like 14. Not to say that I consistently did that. The same job anyway. I had moments of unemployment. You know what I'm saying? Where I received unemployment. You feel me? Uh, but overall, um, you know, I've had moments where I didn't work. But I, I, I really, I really kind of feel like when you're con when you're constantly being bumped out of certain places, uh, you know jobs especially it's because you're not supposed to be working not not that kind of work anyways <sighs> time for another fucking comb and vacuum around this bitch it's like a rinse and sh a rinse oh what is it all a, a shampoo and rinse this is and then a blow dry that's what i fucking do with these cats all the goddamn time and this shit is i love my cats but geez louise karma getting fat than a motherfucker too y'all but back to what i was saying if you know, don't be discouraged if jobs aren't working out for you. I would just encourage you to like think about what else you could possibly be doing, you know. And that's yeah. Cause sometimes people, you know, we we have this idea about what we should be doing with our lives and shit, and um, you know, it's not always that, you know, and it's disappointing at times because like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I never really wanted to work for anybody. I always wanted to be an entertainer or a writer. That's it. I didn't want. There's nothing else that I really, absolutely, ever wanted to do. Mm -mm. Play basketball with Usher. At, you know, I don't even play basketball. I just want to play basketball with him. I don't think he played basketball either. Imagine that. All right, so let's get on with this. Um, what is it called? Okay, hold on. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so I can give a clear and concise message to the collective. Um. Okay, so I was going to do another one, but I'll come back with that because this one was pressing, I feel. So Discord, I, you know, I've been a part of Discord before, uh, like for uh, NFTs type stuff. 
Uh, but Discord is a group chatting platform originally built for gamers that has since become a general use platform for many kinds of communities. Discord is divided into servers, each of which has its own members, topics, rules, and channels. Uh, Discord is a platform where you can talk, chat, and hang out with friends and communities. It's like a virtual space where you can belong to various groups such as school clubs, gaming communities, or art enthusiasts. Whether you, uh, whether you want to communicate through voice, video, or text, Discord makes it easy to connect with others. You can download this Discord app on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android devices. It's a great place to stay close with your friends and share interests. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> there he goes. I got the incense going, and so he's chasing the plume clouds because, you know, this cat is on his own time. So with this Discord room shit, this is a karmic... There's a group of... See, I didn't know that Discord was... I, I don't know what I thought it was. That's why I wanted to pull it up. But clearly, like, there's a club. There's a Discord club dedicated to hating your motherfucking ass or a group of you motherfuckers is what I heard. Okay. So we're going to talk about what they talk about. Because I'm pretty. Don't y'all want to know what they're talking about in this Discord room? I personally would like to 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 to, to uh, what? Spirit said that they be talking. They're talking cash shit. Like they be roasting, like iconically roasting your ass. Let's see. Let's see what what we got from this. Okay. Make sure you're getting them likes up and the shares and subscribes. You don't have to. If you don't, you're just a hater. That's the truth, Ruth. Or maybe you just don't like the message. That's the truth, Ruth, as well. But a lot of you motherfuckers come around here and, and watch and know damn well. See, like with uh, with with YouTube, you can't like a video if you're not signed in, which is un which is understandable. But a lot of you motherfuckers that do have accounts that watch videos and don't like them, you are fucking haters or you're thieves. At least if you're gonna steal from a motherfucker, like it, okay? But I guess if you're liking it, then it gets more distribution amongst people on YouTube on the platform. And so like, yeah, I suppose, like if you're stealing somebody's content, you don't really wanna like it because then it's gonna be circulating with the shit you stole. I get it. Let me get one for this karmic discord room. Discord room, please. Karmic discord room. star seed who's a simp and not a unicorn now this person is a unicorn it's a one of, like <laughs> I heard this person is a unicorn a, 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 like you know you know unicorns are very unique this is a unique simpleton Who's a star seed? I didn't think I didn't think that star seeds could be you know ignorant bitches, but I guess they can, and they're not an empath as well either. This person's not uh, tapped in. They they're not using their they're not using their star seed qualities for they're using it. Oh my god, this is so gross, <laughs> y'all. You know what? See, this is what I be saying. I don't. Okay, first of all, let me just check. We're going to see. Yep, God bumps. Spirit says put it out there. Okay, so we're putting it out there. Ah, this is your fault. He's like, and it is. And I'm going back to sleep. Y'all yeah, love my cats. Y'all know this. I'm one of them cats. I'm, I'm like that with my grandbabies too, though. I talk about my grandbabies all the time. You know, uh, this is unfortunate. I just haven't seen them in forever. But I, they're doing well. They should. They better be. They motherfucking better be. One or, one or, one or two of their parents watches my shit. <laughs> Okay, they do. And if if they're doing well, can somebody please email me some pictures of my grandbabies? Like dead ass, that would be nice. Jeez Louise, hold on y'all. So somebody please email me pictures of my grand if my grandbabies and tell them pop pa said what up. But this person is not empathetic at all. This person is actually um so this would be can star seeds be bad? Let's let's Google that. Can a star seed be bad? Oh, hell no, nah, eggnog. Hold on. Okay, so 9.49 on the clock. So to answer the question, no. Star seeds cannot be bad. Okay, because they... 
Yeah, star seeds come here to share love and light. They don't come here to to, sh to share bullshit. So this person uh, is a one of a kind uh, star seed impersonator, is what I'm hearing. Because this person is not an empath, and star seeds are generally are are empathetic, are very empathetic. Okay, can a star seed be bad? It's quote in quotation marks. Star seeds are not inherently bad or good. Like all humans, they have free will and can choose their actions. Some star seeds may struggle with their purpose and face challenges, but this doesn't make them bad. It's essential. It's essential to focus on growth, self awareness. So basically, no, we got an there's, a, there's an imposter, an imposter, like an imposter fragrance. This person smells like bullshit. This person, whatever they talk about, is bullshit. What I just heard. This is not a star seed. This person pretends to be a star seed, and that's very disrespectful. You feel what I'm telling you? You hear me? When I looked down, when I said this star seed is bullshit, it was 44 on the clock. It's actually 3:42 p.m. on March 22nd, 2024. It's like 30 degrees outside. Okay, I just came back in. It's nice out there, but it's a little chilly, a little nippy. All right, so let's do this. So. What are they talking about in this chat or this Discord community? Is what we want to know, right? Everybody, well, don't you want to know what they're saying about you? One, one, one on the clock. Yeah, I think I would like to know what they're talking about as well because we're being nosy. Okay. Spirit's telling me not to use these ones. Okay, Spirit said grab the Garbage Pill Kid deck because these people are Garbage Pill Kids. They all are. Uh, well, not all of them, because guess what? There's a there's a, there's a true star seed in this motherfucker. Maybe that's why the unicorn popped up. Maybe that's why the unicorn came up. There's a mole. There's a mole amongst these simps is what I heard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. But let's see what these star seeds, these star seeds... Okay, these chosen ones are talking about. And I use the air bunnies with both of these motherfuckers. You know I mean? um, somebody who's a star seed, if pretending to be a star seed, who's a simp. Who's a simp and should probably zip it. You feel me is what I heard because this person is not an empath. I don't like when people pretend to be. That's, you know, and that's, there's a lot of things that piss me off. Two, two, two on the clock. There's a lot of things that piss me off, but there's nothing that pisses me off more than somebody pretending to be a fucking alien. No, 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 no. Because I'll tell you why. As an alien, star, I, I tried to do my hat like Whoopi Goldberg from um, Star Wars, Star Trek, I'm sorry. But the well, thing that pisses me off about people that pretend to be chosen or people that pretend to be star seeds is that they have never faced any kind of struggles in their fucking life. And if they have, it hasn't been like, you know, you know, a motherfucker a break, breaks a, a car breaks down and they're like, oh my God, I'm chosen because this is so hard. Or like a motherfucker... Um, breaks a nail and they're like oh my god this is happening to me because i'm chosen i've had such a hard fucking life or somebody didn't get invited to like a party and they're like oh they're only doing this to me because i'm chosen nah bitch you're a fucking pretender okay and so like that doesn't qualify you know people need to stop fucking saying that shit you know what i'm saying dead ass though this person they're talking about stealing money but they're but they're but you know seven the, the seven of the seven of um the seven of swords in the reverse means they've been caught. They so there's a mole in the in the group. They've been talking about stealing money. Ten of coins talks about inheritances as well. Talking about how to maybe steal some generational wealth. You see that person's old in there. So they've been talking about uh, how to how to take money from people. Is what I heard. To I'm trying to tell you to take money to hold on to money. This is the four of coins to the ace of coins. Okay, let me see if I can fix this. Fix the um. I know y'all want to look at me, but let's look at the cards, okay? <laughs> I'm so fucking goofy. Oh, that's why, because the auto the autofocus was off. Okay, there we go. So we got the four of the four of cups here. I'm sorry. Okay, so we got the four of, the four of cups, which talks about um, missing an opportunity for money. So these people, I, wow, are they trying to clarify the four of cups? The devil. Duh. <laughs> okay. Duh. So the, the Four of Cups talks about, you know, passing up an opportunity or missing something from the divine. Okay, so these people are pissed off. They're mad because they're being passed over for opportunities or the Most High God hasn't gifted them a, a golden opportunity because they worship the devil. I mean, they're in devil energy. They're in demon time. So they're in there and that's really, that's what binds them to coming into these fucking discord rooms. The devil talks about uh, obsession. These people are obsessed with money. 
these people are obsessed with uh, money, or they're obs they're obsessed with the fact that. Damn, all I keep hearing is that no, you're 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 spot on, uh, Savage. They are they are obsessed with money. Eight of coins in the reverse. To the King of Swords. Wow. To the Ten of Cups. These people are very miserable. And the higher fun in the reverse, which keeps them. It, they're, they're trapped like they're miserable these people are really low-key miserable um but what makes them happy is to do devil things like to be on demon time so the king of swords here is somebody that's very driven by their emotions uh very emotionally imbalanced makes head over heart heart over head decisions uh eight of coins to their detriment and this is this works against them but they use this to work against people you feel me? Does that make sense to y'all? This, 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 ener this, these energies, or this, ener this, these energies. These are these energies. It could be up to eight people in this room. I think that there's more than that. But these people use. That's how they work against people. They're, and I just heard that's how they get you to work against yourself. You feel me? So like the whole kind of four cups pouring out their missed opportunity from the divine. Um, these people. Uh, these star seeds or these chosen ones, okay? Because that's what I keep hearing. The ancestors are showing me, like, no, repeat after me. They are not star seeds. They are not chosen ones. That's what I'm hearing. God bumps again. I'm on point. These people actually are part of some secret coven. Uh, anytime we see this, you know, with the ten of with the ten of cups, what are we talking about here? It's talking about generations and generations of people in a, a karmic, toxic family dynamic that are a part of who? You may ask, we're not going to, we don't need to say it, Illuminatus, but these people pretend to be like, or they could be, they could come from, they could come from some dark Freemasons or some dark Illuminatus. I don't know. I do. Well, we, it doesn't matter which one it is. Cause as I said before, these, these higher ups are pissed. Okay. These people from these agencies are very pissed. Somebody really likes Star Wars though. Somebody really likes Star Wars. Okay. Somebody got a big ass forehead too. Like I should be talking, but somebody got a big ass forehead as part of this group. But they're in there talking about how to how to take money from people, uh, like strategies to like there goes my nose is itching because I'm spot on. Yeah, that's the secret that they're talking they're, they're doing dark magic. They they talk about moon rituals, like magic rituals to conjure up money, or how to take money from people. That's what they're talking about in there. Okay, let's get some more energy on this. So now that we got that. Or oh, spirits that keep going with the garbage bell kids. Okay, I got you. Tell me about, tell me about, um, so now that we know what they talk about while they're in there, they talk about your ass too. Yeah, there's, there's a, there's a two of coins. There's a, there's a, there's a police officer amongst these people. Yeah, there's an official person. Among, or, or like a cancer this this police officer or undercover could be like a cancer it is already i mean i'm not really telling the secret not because overall they're already fucked is what i just heard yeah they're fucked they got it you know, i told you a police officer's in there the chariot to the emperor yep they're the will of fortune baby that is the person's in there getting all talking to look at the got all the all the dish we got the coins in there the queen of coins talks about somebody that's standing on business or is about their money what is this the ace of cups spirit says that's the truth this person is in there getting all kinds of information Mm -hmm. This person may not even be a cop. This person could really just be a mole. This is an emperor energy, so we could be talking about um, uh, an Aries. This could, person could be an Aries or a Cancer, uh, but this person was paid. This person was paid to go in there and get all the information from these people. This person is a this person is a secret agent from the divine. However, that works. Whatever higher up that's in the upright has paid this person to go amongst these people and get all the and get all the dirt. dish. Get all the dish is what I heard. Get all the dirt. Okay, yeah, this person, this person got paid a pretty penny to go in there, and uh, <laughs> so basically, they did, they did an overlay for the underplay for the same people that are trying to do the overlay for the underplay against people. Uh, but these, this, this, this is a group of like dark agents. Okay, these, this is how they communicate, and so like, what I just heard is that because they feel like they're on their own personal server, that they can manipulate, uh, they can manipulate what information people can and cannot. Uh, go back and review now i keep trying to explain to these people that uh that well i don't uh, not to these people because i don't talk to none of these ignorant bitches at least i don't think so but again these people obviously have a knowledge of extraterrestrial life form okay they have to right because they pretend to be chosen ones and star seeds and plus they also plus they also uh divinate in the darkness and and you know 
Which, you know, do your own thing. You know what I'm saying, man? Do what you do. I'm not here to tell you not to do what you do. Okay? But dead ass though. If you believe, if you believe in extraterrestrial life form, uh, extraterrestrial life forms on this planet, if you if you believe in dark divination, if you conjure up demons, if you if you worship like a low vibrational deity or a low level deity or a high level dark deity, whatever however this works for y'all. Now, if you believe in all that shit, why the fuck can't don't y'all believe that somebody can't look up internet history? Confirmation. That's the biggest thing. That's what I never understand about people. What makes you think that because you use a VPN or you're using socks, you know, SOCs, to, you know, however you're rerouting all of this internet activity or the communication, whether it be via chat, via Zoom, or, you know, your video chat, because I assume you can video chat with people on Discord. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. So there's one person sitting around and, they, and this person is, this is how, wow, I just heard that's how they're doing this magic. Spirit says that's the fucking truth clarified by the Ace of Wands. Fuck with your boy, okay? This is exactly how what they're doing. They're talking about, they get in these Discord rooms and they talk about how to divinate under the moon. They probably all do it together. Mm -hmm. Under the moon. That's what, that's how they're doing. They're virtually doing like moon magic. And thinks ain't nobody checking in on that shit. Okay. You got these big huge platforms like Discord. I'm telling you, did you see how this came out? They are this person there's one person sitting around telling all these people how to uh manifest endings for people and manifest money at the same time under moon cycles. That's what I heard. <sighs> wow. So, I would like to know what they're saying what they're saying about um saying about you and me and everybody. Let's uh let's also get a demon card out here as well. Make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing if you're not sure. You don't have to subscribe, uh, but you could at least like the video. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, okay, y'all. It's definitely a water day for me. <laughs> Shit. Woo, I'm about to take me a nice spiritual bath after this one. Or the next one after this, probably. So I'm gonna sit in that bitch for about a good 45 minutes. You know, I kind of feel some kind of way about sitting in there because for some odd reason, I feel like there's still a camera in my bathroom. But I guess if they want to watch my beautiful naked body sitting in a tub of water that's filled with salt while I listen to meditation music or tarot, they can do that. I don't know. They've been doing it. Comment down below if you've been watching that shit. Somebody say, I have real quick, and then they're going to delete the, they're gonna delete the comment. Okay, I feel you. I feel you, pervert. What is, the, what is this demon that they're conjuring up? Or what, what demon has taken over this star seed to think? Or what, this person works very closely with, a, with, a, with some type of entity. What is the entity? Who is the entity that this person is working closely with, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Ace of Swords. Spirit says, that's the truth. Inflames, inflames men and women. Inflames men with women's love and women with men's love causes them to show themselves naked if desired. So this is uh, the Ace of Swords talks about communication. This person is definitely this person is uh, a mind a mind fucker. This person is very manipulated in the art of mind fuckery. Okay, uh, Citri Citri is the name of this demon. So this person is is can, is is a switch hitter. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of water, like waves, four, four in the clock when I look down. Oh, this person is, uh, what is Beyonce? Like a, you know, uh, this person is very actually probably from what I, with the Ace of Swords out here. This person is very good in the sack. Waves, baby, from both the men and the women. Okay. This person is Le Switch Hitter. Okay. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I just like saying it. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with being a switch hitter. Can we repeat that again? There's nothing wrong with being a switch hitter. I think you should, I mean, live your life like how are you going to live your life. I just think that people should be honest with people about being a switch hitter. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're going to be intimate with people or if, you, if you're showing some very kind of real interest in somebody, just be honest with a person. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was a switch hitter back in the day. I was honest about it, though. You know? It just was. All right, so let's see what they're talking about. Okay, do you, we all want to know what they're talking about. Your ear, somebody's like, please get to it. Okay, I'm getting to it. Jeez, Louise. Just let me. 
We're going to use the, uh, again, oh, there we go, page of cups, immaturity, immature behavior, page of coins, and the devil. I can't make it up. Yep. These people, these people uh, are childish as fuck. Again, this is all it's about. It's all about money. Page of, page of coins, page of cups, immature behavior. People not thinking, uh, the people not think using their grown, uh, grown folks, adult uh, energy. They're not. The page of cups. Also, do you know sometimes the page of cups in reverse because pages that talk about communication, paper, cups talk about emotions and love and shit. But you know what I just heard? Like with the page of cups, little ass kid lies. You know how kids lie when they're getting caught? Yeah, they get scared. These people are, these are a whole bunch of immature ass liars who, uh, who again, are divinating with some type of deity in the background. You see they're doing that blood contract, doing a blood oath for money. So that they can call in manifestations because the page of coins talks about manifestations and calling them in. But look who they're calling. Look who they're calling them in from. I can't make this shit up, y'all. I can't make it up. Uh, you see, this this devil comes up in this big red cape. I don't know. <laughs> this motherfucker kind of dressed to the nines, though, with them red bottoms on, I suppose. <laughs> OK, so that's what they that's what they talk about. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. And the empress and the empress on the back to the eight of swords. Uh, whatever any of that means. We're not going to dig into that because I didn't ask for that. So let's see. What are they talking about? What are they saying about the collective? If spirit wants to even tell me because I've been asking. What are they saying? Can we just get a little bit about what they're saying? Okay. This, I think this would be. Um, King of Swords in the reverse to the Seven of Cups. Lies. All they're doing is talking about lies. They talk, they, they're, they're, the King of Swords in the reverse, again, is somebody that's led by their emotions. But the King of Swords also talks about somebody who's a narc, a liar. Seven of Cups talks about illusions of lies. What kind of lies are they telling? Again, or Spirit's just saying they're just a bunch of, a whole gaggle full of fucking liars. A gang of liars. You know what I'm saying? What are they talking about, though? They're saying what? What are they saying? With the Will of Fortune. Clarify the Will of Fortune, please. I guess spirit is pretty much telling me like it doesn't really matter the higher fund again in the reverse I cannot make this shit up y'all I am telling you that these people oh my god these people are they basically are say, casting out illusions the king of swords like this is some narc ass energy this is some very narcissistic energy they tell lies to gain favor fueled by this dark energy like whatever kind of coven they're a part of or whatever secret society they are on they they tell these lies to gain favor they're lying to these again here we go like 2747 uh 747 okay what was that i don't know but these people are these they're lying they are they're they've lied they've lied to these secret societies again these secret society I, i'm telling you do you see how do you, do you see over the last few days C clarify this higher what is this higher fine energy about to do with these people i think we already know but i don't think but i think I don't know. Let's see. yeah that's the way that they that they remain in the, the will of fortune they lie to these people i don't know why i why do oh my god the moon they tell, they lie to the ace of cups telling a whole bunch of bullshit yeah because they're selfish with the nine of cups here to protect themselves they lie they lie they come up with okay so the seven of cups talks about illusions but the, in the reverse though this these higher ups are no longer having that shit okay they're not having it because you can't lie you know it's one thing if a secret society comes together around a round table and they devise a plan to take down like somebody most of the time though i'm going to be honest most of the time they don't lie what they do is that they dig up dirt and then they they may they may embellish it or they, may, they put it out there really bad to, so that, you know, it, it's like mass produced, like propaganda that people send out to discredit what somebody says. But if they can't find anything on you, then they just try to kill you. <laughs> but these people have been lying to these people to cover something up, to block, to to block with it. With the seven of wands there, this is like this is their this is their strategy of defense. Damn, you see, look at strategy of defense. You see, it's kind of like a devil's playbook again. OK. The ace of coins. These aces are coming out in the reverse. These people are not protected by these secret societies. They're just not. Knight of Wands talks about the action that they're taking. Tell me about the nine of the Knight of Wands. 
Knight of Wands, please. The Six of Coins in their reverse. Exactly. These people have taken some action towards their own community of people. Actually, they've been stealing from people in their community. Uh, these people that are part of this Discord room, from what I'm hearing. Uh, and you know what's so funny? You would swear that I you would swear that I had this knowledge because I'm a part of this shit. Because that's how detailed I'd be getting some of this information. But I'm not a part of this shit. Mm -mm. Ain't never stuck my head in and out of these rooms. But you know, spirit has. Okay? And that's the reason why we know what we know. So these people have been... Whoever the leader of this group is... This person is very immature. Plus, again, this person causes them to show themselves naked if desired. This person has probably had sex with multiple people in this Discord room. If not, if not, if not physically, via Zoom, they have. They be doing a lot of they be doing a lot of sex scene. One more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, six of cups. I'm trying to tell you. Six of cups. Clarify the six of cups. The three of cups in the reverse to the king of wands. I can't make it up. This person has been carrying on uh, long, like sexual relationships, like with people for a very long time. Okay. The six of cups talks. You see them two people. They're happy dancing to their little D, the, the demon DJ down there. Somebody could actually be a DJ in this group. Somebody's name could be DJ, a part of this group. Somebody's name could be JD, a part of this group. Take the energy as it resonates. The letters D and J or J and D are very significant to this download. But then you got the three of cups. Karmic third parties. I'm trying to tell you, this person keeps up a lot of King of Wands with big, sweet Dick Willie energy amongst people in this group. Clarify one last card, please, and then we we'll get out of this download, okay? One more card, please. The Emperor, again, the detective. There's somebody amongst these people, again. This is the second time the Emperor card has come out. This is an confirmation. This is an Aries energy, and you see he got on the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or the, or, or the uh, Sherlock Holmes kind of outfit. But as you can see, one side of him is light and the other side is dark. This person is undercover amongst these people. That's what I heard. Ace of Swords Spirit says that's the truth because he about to lock all these bitches up an ending. This person came along to gain intel, Ace of Swords, tell him the truth. That's truth and clarity. So that these people can, so that he can end this group of people. Mm -hmm, that's what I heard. One more. I know I keep saying one more. Look, and, and check out this picture. You see what that person's doing? About to give that person like a lobotomy or something. But just, just before that, they're about to drive that nail through somebody's head. You see that one bird that gets out of there right in time? That's that undercover. That's that secret agent. That's what I heard, okay? The magician to the nine of swords. Yeah, to release. To release people or has been freed or did some type of manipulation to get themselves out of that contract is what I heard. This person could have actually been a part of this shit and then realized, like, I don't want to be in there. They say, where well, I got to get the fuck out of here. What can I do? What can I do? to? Where I'm, I'm looking to save myself. What can I do? Then a high, some higher up said, well, thank you for coming to tell us this shit. We need you to do us a favor. We need you to pretend with the magician here um, that you're a part of the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups. Go in there and pretend like you love these motherfuckers. Like you got all kind of love and light for these bitches. And then what happens right before we're about to take them down? We'll tell you so that you can free yourself from that trap, from this emotional tra entrapment. Ten of Wands, I can't make it up get, to drop them motherfucking burdens. You feel me? This person got the fuck out right in time. And that's because of there's some illegal shit going on. And justice in the reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Illegal, illegal shit. This is spiritual laws being broken. The Ace of Wands, that's magical. That's that's dark magic with the justice in the reverse. That's spiritual laws being broken. These person, These people have broken a bunch of spiritual laws. That are about to manifest themselves in some 3D court shit. One last card, please, and I'm out. I promise. The Eight of Wands. Backfire, baby. Karma is what I said. Okay? That's it. <laughs> okay? We're about to close out this reading. Ah, Spirit said grab one gypsy card. Okay, one gypsy card, and then I gotta let you guys go. Happy fucking Friday. TGIF. Is, T, is there still TGIF still open or did they close out? And that food used to be good as hell. A lot better than Applebee's in my opinion. I don't know. You know, <laughs> just a side note. All Applebee's food to me tastes like some shit off of the Schwann's truck. That's some shit you can get from Schwann's. Cook it yourself, so ain't nobody back there rubbing, rubbing this, rubbing your 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 nice your nice juicy steak all up in their nice juicy dirty ass booty, cause that's what they do. That's what they do. Anybody ever work in a restaurant before? And do you see what people do? I used to work at Red Lobster a long time ago, over by uh, 
Eastland Mall, I think that's the name of it, down in Atlanta, Georgia. It was a nice job. It was pretty fun, too. Uh, hooked up with a crazy bitch there. Yeah, she got real crazy sitting outside my house and shit because I put that thing on her. Uh, but, nah, you know, I used to be back there tripping because a the motherfucker would be like, uh, somebody, uh, like if somebody was very nasty to the server, the server would be like, hook up that steak. And they throw that bitch on the floor, pick it right back up, throw it right back on the grill. That's what I saw. <laughs> Be careful how you deal with people. That's karma. See what I'm talking about? Anytime that you are ever doing some shit to somebody, you might want, or how you're talking to somebody specifically. Somebody just says, Savage, you got to do, do, look how you talk to people. Yeah, I see how I talk to people. I tone back on it a lot, but I'll be telling them the truth, though. People don't like to hear the truth. So if a motherfucker, trust and believe that if a motherfucker, that's why I don't go nowhere and eat no more, because people don't want to hear the truth. Matter of fact, when I go places and I eat something and it's not the way that I want it, I'll either I'll either just bite the bullet and eat it because when you send that shit back, they, the cooks don't like it. And you're not going to like what they do to your food when you send it back. That's called karma. Yeah, old ass woman. What about this old woman? Damn. Fortune. They was they they what they've been talking about is their their next mark. Some older lady with a bunch of money. Yep. But that's that, that's okay though, because they about to go to prison. They about to go to prison. Surprise. I can't make it up. They've been they about to because their next mark was an old woman. That's and or they just recently took something from an old woman talking about what's backfiring. They was they were about to get some old woman for her money, is what I just heard, but they about to get a surprise and take their ass right the fuck to prison. Yep, so now do you better call a priest now, bitch. Okay? Now they looking for God. But y'all don't mean believe in God. Yeah, death. I'm trying to make it up. They got a death angel. They got a death angel flying right around their ass. They didn't even know it. But now it's a surprise. A surprise ending death doesn't mean that they're going to die. It just means that something's coming to an end. Mm, they got a death angel flying around. One of these motherfuckers might even be a holy man in this group. Shame on him. That death angel is flying around. See what I'm talking about? Look at that. Look at the haircut on that motherfucker. That bitch got... Oh, that's a... Oh, it looks like, look like a wig. But nah, they about to get a surprise visit from somebody. The feds. They're going to prison. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> We're so tired of these hoes. Size. Yeah, that's going to be our gift, though. Okay, that's going to be our gift. And then we'll be happy with joyfulness, okay? That's the end of this reading. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? This is one of the sec this is the second weekend message. I'll be back in a little bit here with another one because I do got a couple of downloads that I would like to pull some cards on. So yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm your Uncle 79 the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I always love a light around this bitch. As I always take it easy. I love you. I do. Deuces. Savage.